All right, Mr. Baker, you're before the court day for your uh, arraignment. And let's see. You're not. Have you hired an attorney? No, sir. Do you plan on hiring one? No, sir. Are you going to represent yourself or do you wish yes, to have sir. a public defender to represent you? No, sir. I'm going to represent myself. All right. You're before the court today for your arraignment. You've been charged by way of an information with possession of a, a cocaine, possession of a controlled substance, but count one and two. Those are both third degree felonies, punishable to five years in the Florida Department of Corrections and a $5,000 fine. You have a count three, which is fleeing or attempting to elude high speed reckless. I believe that should be a second degree felony. Once put to 15 years in the Florida Department of Corrections and a $10,000 fine. Count four is drive my license, counsel, suspend, or revoke third or subsequent defense. That's a third degree felony. Once put to five years in the Florida Department of Corrections and a $5,000 fine. And count five possession of marijuana less than 20 grams, which is a first degree misdemeanor. Once put one year in the county jail and a $1,000 fine. So you're looking at a total of about 30 years in the Florida Department of Corrections if you're convicted of everything and you get the maximum sentence. Damn! And you're still wishing to represent yourself? Yes, sir. Or if you'll raise your right hand to be sworn in. Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Baker, state your name. Lee Baker. And Mr. Baker, you have asked to represent yourself. Is that correct? Yes. How far did you get in school? Uh, ninth grade. Okay. And so you can read and write? Yes. Okay. Are you employed? No, sir. All right. How do you make a living? I'm unemployed right now. I was living with someone else. Sir? I'm unemployed. I was living with someone else. I just got out of jail about five months ago. Okay. Well, what is your uh, trade? I have my own business. All right. What kind of business? A cleaning business. Okay. Don't lie to the judge. You have a business dealing cocaine. And uh, have you ever represented yourself before? Yes. All right. Uh, see, are you under the influence of any drugs or alcohol today, which would affect your ability to enter the, to, uh, make this decision to represent yourself? No. Have you ever been diagnosed with a mental illness that would affect your ability to, uh, no, enter, to make this decision? No. Right. You understand that attorneys are trained in the rules of evidence, criminal procedure, and the law, and they're there to assist you in preparing for pretrial motions, preparing for, uh, uh, pretrial, mo uh, hearings and, and to participate in discovery and also preparing for trial. I comprehend that very well. All right, and sir, you understand that if you're representing yourself, you'll be held to that same standard. I comprehend that. All right, and I cannot, and I cannot assist you in any way. The state attorney would not be able to assist you in any way. Is that correct? I'm a, I comprehend. All right. And you still wish to represent yourself? Yes. All right. You've been, Madam Clerk, if you'll print out the information and Deputy Dexter, it's okay if the clerk hands the information to, uh, uh, Mr. Baker, uh, Madam Clerk, if you'll do that. Mr. Baker, when you receive that information, I'm going to ask that you enter a plea at this time. I'd like to uh, file two motions on the record as well, sir. I want to do your arraignment first. All right. Mr. Baker, you're ready. You'll let me know and you enter, enter your plea. I enter a plea or not guilty. Okay. All right, you're filing motions? Yes, sir. I got a. I you gotta, have copies for the state? Yes, I do. Okay. I got a uh, declaratory uh, judgment. And I have, I want to furnish this, this bond to the to the clerk. Let me file it. Go ahead. For my, uh, for my release from the Bay County Jail today. Okay. That's the declaratory judgment. That's for the clerk only. Now you're providing a copy of the state, everything you've given the clerk. The uh the bond, I, I shall have to give the bond. The bond goes straight to the clerk. The Anything you file that you want me to consider, you have to provide a copy to the state, sir. As you're representing yourself, you have to know those rules. If you don't, you're gonna mess I understand up. That, but... If you're not providing to the state, I'm not gonna consider it. Okay. And the clerk is the clerk doesn't make any determinations on that. All they all the clerk determines is whether you're in it or not. I'm not talking about the bond for the, the death to death to the judgment. I'm talking about the bond for the clerk to release me today. I filed my uh my eligible obligation. What are you clerk. talking about? Sir? What are you talking about? <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. 
I'm talking about an eligible mm-hmm. obligation oh, on the USDA. Oh, you talking all that kind of stuff. I'm striking all that. And uh, if I hear it again, I'm not going to let you represent yourself. I promise you. Uh, I mean, he's already entered a not guilty plea. We'll set this for a free trial. We'll set it for a – don't ask me any questions like that, sir. I'm not answering any questions. If you want to file a motion, file your motion. We'll set it for our December – when's that motion day in December? December 19th. December 19th at 9 o'clock. Sir, you, sir, you may – if you're going to do the sovereign citizen and all that, you may want to consider – uh, having the attorney, I'm a private citizen, sir. I'm not a sovereign citizen. I'm a private citizen. Listen to me. If you're going, if you're going to, if you're going to pursue that, you may want to reconsider uh, representing yourself. No, sir. But I'm not going to pay attention to any of that, and I'm going to strike all that. Okay. So we'll see you no December problem. 19th at nine o'clock. It's no problem. Oh. That's enough. I don't want to hear another word. Okay, I like to also another one. I don't want to hear another word. No, put him out. Put your hands on me like that. Hush. Get him out of the courtroom. <laughs> I don't want to hear another word. Mr. I just heard another word, Mr. Baker. Hush. Whoa. Mr. Baker, I'm going to appoint the Office of Public Defender to represent you. I'm going to find that you're not competent to represent yourself at this time. I'm going to reverse my decision. The Office of Public Defender is, rep- is going to represent him. We'll keep it on that December 19th date. I just did. All right. Whoa, this judge was not playing around. He did not want to hear that sovereign citizen crap. This is how the rest of the judges should treat these fools.